Okay, so this this one here is aluminum, and the thing that I forgot in my other video is to um, make make sure that this one here is low enough so that the light bulb is just barely glowing, exactly. even a little bit less. Because if you have all you need is a glimmer to tell you that you have connection and therefore you can take a reading with the caliper screw. If you make this setting too high, then the light bulb goes out and it's just, um, um, I mean, blows and it's just an inconvenience. Anyway, um, the measurements for, for this one here are on this aluminum rod, also 600 millimeters long, um, are 7.30 at a temperature of 90... 100 degrees. Oh, 100 degrees, okay. So 7.30 millimeters at 100 degrees Celsius. And then there was 6.00 millimeters at 21 degrees Celsius? I think just 20. 20 degrees Celsius? Okay. So 6.00 at 20 degrees Celsius and 7.30 millimeters at 100 degrees Celsius. Okay. Thanks. experiment on linear expansion so if, if you could film here um, and oh th thanks for being quiet thanks guys um, so so this is the setup come come over here closer so here's the setup here's the thermometer in there um, then you heat up the water and it goes in here and you just need a little bit of water about this much here because all you need is steam and then this one here gets pretty hot and then this one is for the um, condensed water to, to come out. And then this unit here with the power supply is to hook up um, the light bulb in here so that you can take a measurement, because at this point we see the steam coming out, um, take a measurement here with the caliper screw. And um, that's what we can do right now. So if you could um, take a measurement. And let me know what that is. Okay, so 2.55 millimeters over here, and the original measurement you said was earlier 1.78 millimeters, and so it increased over that temperature range from, what was it, 22 degrees Celsius? 22 degrees Celsius to now 98 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> it increased in length from that 1.78 to 2.55 millimeters. <clears throat> and as I said, the total length of this one is 600 millimeters. Uh, we have a copper rod in here, and um, I should talk a little bit about the errors. Um, one of the biggest error that you have here is the caliper screw itself, because as you try to screw this in here, you're watching when the light bulb goes on, right there. But you have a little bit of play in here, so it's kind of like, hmm, where actually does it turn on? So that will give you quite a bit of an error here. Uh, there's, of course, the thermometer. Um, it steam is at 100 degrees Celsius, the thermometer reads 98, I think it does it for everybody. So you have a certain um, calibration here in the thermometer as well as a random error in there too. And let's see the other things that I have in here. Um, actually, that's, that's it. Th those two pretty much just give you the errors. Okay. Okay, so this one here has brass and I don't need to explain the experiment again. Um, may, maybe just maybe I forgot this earlier. Just be a little bit careful here with with the setting on the power supply, because if it's too high, then the lamp will glow too strong and might actually glow. So this glimmer here, or even less, is, is the the less the better, because um, all you need is a is a glimmer that tells you well you have a connection and now you can read the caliper. Um, the measurements that they were taken were 8.61 for the um, original length, and that's one that's over here actually, and then, and that was at 21 degrees Celsius, and then at 99 degrees Celsius, where it is right now, okay. the measurement over here is 9.64 millimeters. So again, 8.61 at 21, and 9.64 at 99 degrees Celsius. This is an example calculation for the lab on linear expansion, and the metal rod used was brass, and I underline it and make it bold.
field here instead of circling it. The length as mentioned in the video is 600 millimeters. The room temperature was 21 degrees Celsius and then well students would students in the on-campus class would take measurements as the rod is cooling down and I take measurements every 10 minutes I'm sorry every 10 degrees uh, here I only gave the uh, maximum uh, in, the vi in the video I only gave the uh, maximum expansion and then the one at room temperature and those two from the video are 99 degrees Celsius and 9.64 millimeters and then 21 degrees Celsius and 8.61 millimeters and I had question marks here because it may not be exactly 100 or 98, 99, same with the room temperature of course. Okay, now here as I said we're just going to take those two numbers and I have to see that I get this here nicely in there, there we go, just barely. Here's the equation that, that we're going to use so we're not going to do that Excel file because we don't have that many data. So um, delta L is by how much it expanded. Well, that's the difference between those two, so 1.03 millimeters over a temperature range of, well, 78 degrees Celsius and for, a for an original length of 600 millimeters. And with that, we determine what the thermolinear expansion coefficient alpha is and compare that then to a theoretical or accepted value. So I'm going to do the calculations on the calculator, this example calculator, to figure out what alpha is. So we're going to have 1.03 divided by 600 divided by 78. So 1.03 millimeters divided by 600 divided by 78 degrees Celsius degrees. And I come up with 2.2, 10 to negative fifth. Um, so 1 over Celsius degrees is the unit. And in tables it's listed as 10 to the negative 6, so they have these kind of two digit numbers here, two digit um, integer numbers listed here. Notice that for brass it is 19 times 10 to the negative 6, 1 over Celsius degrees. Well, here we have, shift the decimal point, 22 times 10 to the negative 6, 1 over Celsius degrees. So, in the neighborhood of like a 10 to 20 percent error on this one that uh, we can be explained with the errors that I had mentioned while taping the video.